and welcome to another mum days video uh, i thought i would take us outside today um uh, because you know it's a nice night it's a nice evening however then i remembered sat outside turned the camera on looked up in the lens thing up there in the screen and uh pff, the grass is all dead in it over there's great look at that nice luscious patch of green over there the rest of it basically straw. Time has come already for me to do a seven month pregnancy update. I think maybe the last one happened a few days late. This one's happening a couple of days early. Um, that's all and so it just feels like it's very sudden. Unless the last month has been very quick. I don't think it has though. I'm not sure. Maybe it has. Maybe it has. Anyway, first off, let's see what the app says. The baby is currently the size of a winter squash, which is basically a pumpkin. Uh, it is the size of a puppy and by sweets a box of chocolates kind of depends on what size of box uh, you go for um, in length it's 38 to 42 centimeters and weight it says between 1150 grams to 1700 the last time I had a scan was a week and a half ago and the baby weighed two pounds nine um, so already uh, getting there getting there nice and healthy um, everything was perfect on the scan uh, so feeling very very happy uh, and uh, and and you know um, what's it called reassured that things are going swimmingly at the moment there's lots of planes out tonight uh, with me pregnancy wise um, I've had a few um, bouts of being like feeling sick again not being sick but feeling quite nauseous just had one just then had one in the car again the other night the car sickness has kind of gone for a month and now that seems to be back again so that's um, a little bit annoying especially scent led actually um, I was in a car the other night uh, and it um, just didn't particularly smell very pleasant to my nose and to my insides um, so they were kind of turning the whole way home and then uh, when I got out of the car I felt like I still stank <laughs> off the car um, so I had to get changed um, just because this nausea was kind of lingering around me um, but that hadn't been too bad and now it's kind of reared its head again um, headache wise every now and then but not as frequent as they were which is interesting because i was linking it to the weather getting hotter but um the weather is hotter than it was and i i'm all right that kind of um uh put that sort of thought to an end i don't know disproved that thought i don't know Anyway, that. Oh, the one thing that I am actually, I am actually struggling with at the moment. Uh, so basically, it's called, um, it's called, um, oh, it's called pubic something. Basically, my, my, my groin area, uh, there's a lot of tension and pulling. And uh, so when I'm sat in one position and go to move to another, or if I'm walking in one direction and change direction, um, there's like a like a pull uh, down below, which isn't very very comfortable. Um, I've googled as most people do and it's very very common um, just where things are softening with all the relaxatocin uh, going into the body uh, so it's not going to be going anytime soon just probably have to relax a little bit and uh, and chill out which isn't easy to do when you've got two kids and you've got to run around after them it's not the most comfortable thing in the world to be honest I've, I don't think I've ever experienced it like this in a pregnancy before um, I don't remember it being this bad but then again I haven't had two kids while being pregnant before so um, again who, who knows it's really hard to compare isn't it you can't really compare because circumstances are very different there are children in my life now uh, so um, yeah it's very very difficult to tell you know is that this pregnancy is it because of the situation you just don't know tiredness wise I feel like I am less tired than I was there was a point last last month where when the kids got up in the morning I was like I need to stay in bed I don't think I've had that actually I think because the headaches have lifted actually the headaches were very morning related and um and so I'd wake up feeling really groggy and my head was quite fuzzy and actually now I wake up with a, quite a clear head and uh and so quite springy and uh, and so I don't feel um the need to stay in bed longer to shrug that off 
although I am aware that when the baby arrives um, I'd like to feed again uh, so that does mean that the nighttime stuff is all me so I'll be having interrupted sleep so really I should be making the most of uh, Tom taking over the boys now so that I can get proper sleep in who doesn't like sleep I love sleep I have had um, the odd nap usually after lunch actually and actually when was that uh, about a week and a half two weeks ago I did have an hour and a half nap actually during the day um, I don't have time to do that, it meant that I had to work doubly as hard in the evening um, but uh, I did allow myself to have that just because I was feeling that groggy um, but uh, I, I had also been really busy so uh, you know it's fine, it swings and roundabouts um, but generally I am coping without my midday naps so that's good. July is a very busy month um, and then August kind of slows down again um, in preparation for the bubba. Uh, there is a certain date in August where I'm like, I am not traveling anywhere from this date. Um, but that doesn't mean, you know, just means I'll be doing some work from home, but I will be, I will be chilling out and um, kind of uh, uh, winding down. One thing I have been very aware of is, um, so in my different pregnancies, I felt very different about my body. Um, with Buzz, I'd had years and years of hating my body so when I was pregnant with Buzz I was like oh my god this is an amazing body like I had a miscarriage before that and I just felt that my body had um had had well we were finally on the same side and uh and I completely embraced my pregnancy body and absolutely loved it and just felt so womanly so sexy actually and then with Buddy I had comments um you know oh gosh you're big or you know sure there's just one in there where do you do and that kind of put me in quite a, an insecure place which um um, I, I was really sad about obviously because I'm growing a human I was growing human and and it's a time where I felt that I should really be rejoicing that fact and I kind of felt like other people's comments I'd let them get to me because that's the thing isn't it people can say things it's up to you to how you receive them and how you let them into your brain and uh, and I think in that pregnancy they really did get to me and this time around I mean, I'm not out that much, let's face it. I've got a lot of stuff to be doing at home, uh, work-wise, writing-wise, and things like that. Um, but uh, there are comments like, oh gosh, aren't you big? Um, you know, someone said the other day, well, you know, such and such is due in five weeks and she's not as big as you yet. I'm not I'm not defending my body I don't have to defend my body because it is what it is it is pregnant and it is doing the most amazing thing and uh, that is that is this is my bump I've still got weeks and weeks and weeks like two months left of growth and my body will do what it needs to do to make my baby healthy and give it what it needs so that's that to be honest uh, so I did post something on Instagram the other day I didn't post it because I'm feeling insecure or because I'm you know crying at night because you know someone said oh my gosh <laughs> um, just because I, I kind of felt like if I'd have realized last pregnancy that people say it to other people then it would have put me in a much better place I think mentally um, so just for anyone else out there who's finding it difficult whether that's a large bump a small bump any kind of bump um, people love saying things and I don't think it's people being mean um, I think it's small talk and I think it's bumps we just like talking about them and 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 people say comments that are quite flippant they don't mean anything by it they just like saying something and um, you know I don't think it's necessarily at a fault of the person um, it is it, a part of it is us kind of going I am going to choose to bat that off and not paying pay any attention to it because it is difficult you know people I know some people have been like does it make a difference people but what's what's problem what, what's the problem with that like it's just that someone's just commenting on your bump but it's someone commenting on your body and I think um, that's quite a difficult uh, thing to get your head around because there aren't many situations in which people would kind of go oh aren't your boobs big oh you have big arms <laughs> Oh, you've got a massive nose. Oh, what? Your eye is small. But it's just something that's not done. Uh, so when you are, you know, working on the miracle that is life, it's quite um, strange to have people suddenly looking at your body in, in a way that can be judged. It's just, it's just strange. I find it strange. So I'm just, I'm just, you know, 
sending love to anyone who's growing a bump or you know the other thing is lots of people out there would love to grow bumps and love to have those comments and I completely understand that as well um, it is a crazy crazy world and um, and we all have lots of emotion and um, lots of things to be considerate about and it's difficult to do that all the time um, so yeah so for me I think when I hear those comments I just kind of have to go yup that's another one to laugh at <laughs> when I get home later oh Tom you'll never guess what <laughs> uh, anyway and that's me wobbling on that's where I am at seven months uh, is me kind of thinking that um, because you know I've still got a couple of months of growing left and um, and I've got to embrace everything that my body is doing rather than trying to fight against it and you know it, it is what it is it's doing a marvelous job well done body well done well done uh, let's look at the bump ready da, 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 da. hold on can you see that that's me bump also <laughs> I'm wearing non maternity clothes today <laughs> which is quite ironic because a lot of my maternity stuff is just not fitting it's not not uh, it's just a bit uncomfortable I think it's because it's shorts a lot of it and it's elasticated and um, they hold my bump up in a weird way the baby's head's already like down and so the baby's head's down and um, the bum comes up to one side and the legs cross over so I think um, maybe that's a part of it I feel like it's all just it's not very comfortable so maybe that's part of it but this is a nice and very loose very stretchy piece of material that is a dress uh, so you know let's not fool ourselves it is non maternity but it's still stretchy um, so it would fit anyone right now and, uh, and make them feel great and that is what it is doing to me um, right I'm going to stop wobbling um, but just to say that I love you lots and I shall speak to you very very soon bye